So kita baru start record. Okay, so the famous uh, or the most common um, distillation uh, used in petroleum industry. Okay, saya dah ingat. Champagne. Okay, champagne. Alright. Champagne is a kind of a wine yang dibuat di nama satu kampung tu di France nama uh, tempat tu lah champagne. Right? So um, that wine from champagne sahaja yang boleh dipanggil sebagai champagne. Yang tempat lain tak boleh panggil. Ada yang tiruan lah. Tapi the the grape from champagne only can produce champagne. Alright. Pernah minum ke you all? Okay. Alright. Right, um, apa apa tujuan distillation dalam commercial use? Okay, to separate crude oil into more fractions. Right, to distill water to remove impurities such as salt. Okay, distillation distillation of uh, air to separate these components such as uh, oxygen for medical application. Right, to produce distilled beverages with a higher alcohol content. Right, all the form of distillation. This is uh, all the form of distillation yang guna. Uh, method ni yang untuk buat ni lah minuman alkohol tu lah minuman keras okay uh, amara ni minuman keras tak boleh diminum kan okay distillation of herbs for perfumery and medicinal okay um, untuk buat perfume ni eh, perfume kan ada alkohol juga kan dan juga uh, ubat-ubatan lah right and food processing okay, application area of distillation juga ada di laboratory scale distillation dan juga industrial distillation okay sekarang ni kalau distillation, laboratory scale pun kita buat eh dalam lab dan juga ada industrial. They apply the laboratory concept tu, apply the industry for the larger scale of distillation application. Ah, sudah, slide saya dah tak bergerak dah. Okay. So, uh, by theory, distillation as a liquid sample is heated and converted to vapor, some of it uh, condensed and runs back into the starting flask and the rest of it condensed and transferred to a collection vessel. Right? Kan kita buat kan? Tadi kita tengok illustration tu. Kalau kita heat, okay, then kita ada condenser tu. Some of the condensed uh, run back to the starting flask lah. Okay? Jatuh balik. Dan some of it Uh, condense and transfer to collection collection vessel. So the former um, is called um, the reflux and the latter the distillate. Okay. You all dengar jelas tak suara saya? Jelas eh? All right. Jelas, so, jelas. Oh good. Okay. So saya ada mic yang white okay eh. Nak promote sikit. Cantik tak mic saya? Okay. Right. Um. So the reflux, reflux ratio NR equal to okay equal to NR divided by ND. So apa tu NR? Number of mole of reflux. Okay, the, the the first one that we put right uh, to heat. It, okay, the mole of reflux, number of mole of reflux, and ND is number of mole of distillate the yang kita collect at the end of the process. Alright. So uh, <coughs> that is reflux ratio. Okay, remember this law. We have learned this in previous chapter. What is what is this law actually? What law? I believe that some of you have very bad internet connection because some of you left, join, left, join. Okay, Routes law. Okay, Afifa, Routes law. Is that correct, guys? Routes law. Okay, betul Afifa. Okay, Routes law. Yang kita belajar. Right? Apa Routes law cakap? A uh, partial pressure of a solvent A is equal to the vapor pressure of a pure solvent A at the same temperature times by the mole fraction of a solvent A in the solution. Okay, maknanya kalau kita ada mixture of A and B, okay, then um, pressure A yang original tadi, okay. Okay, uh, macam mana kita nak kaitkan dengan pressure A yang dalam mixture, okay. So, uh, kaitannya ialah pressure A dalam mixture tadi, dia kena darab dengan berapa mol A, okay, yang ada dalam mixture tersebut. Right? 
faham tak? Maknanya dalam Rock's Law ni dia, dia assume pressure bagi um, solvent A tadi um, bila dicampur so uh, factor lain tu dah di negligible kecuali dia kena darab dengan bilangan mol dia. This is very simple kan? Tak faham? Right then remember eh Rock's Law eh mungkin penting bagi kita. Right? Of course lah penting kita belajar kan. Mungkin uh, Yelah, you all kena ingat lah pasal Rock's Law ni. Okay, Rock's Law, the vapor pressure of each chemical component in the ideal solution is dependent on the vapor pressure of the individual component and the, and the mole uh, fraction of the component present in the solution. Right, this is a theoretical plate, okay. Uh, dalam um, uh, distillation, dia ada theoretical plate kan. The rising vapor and then the dia apa namanya dia, dia, dia panggil descending liquid okay plate plate tadi yang perangkap yang condense tadi alright inilah konsep ni diguna dalam distillation of petroleum kan okay then uh, daripada petroleum crude oil tu kita dapat petrol dapat kerosin dapat diesel dapat apa lagi apa lagi contoh daripada petroleum come on come on knowledge apa lagi petroleum dapat apa lagi yang last sekali yang tak berapa nak evaporate tu, apa benda dalam petroleum? What is it? Tar, okay. Oh, bitumen kan? Yes, untuk jalan eh. Tar. Yang tu memang kita tahulah dia pun berat kan, hitam macam tu kan. Tu memang kalau uh, dia last last one lah yang tak evaporate lah. So, berat kan. The molecule is very, you know, uh, very, very uh, heavy lah eh. Tak, tak boleh nak evaporate lagi. So, dia akan digunakan untuk buat tar kan. So a theoretical plate in many separation process is a hypot hypothetical zone or stage in which two phases such as the liquid and vapor phases of a substance establish an equilibrium with each other. Okay, faham tak? A theoretical plate in many separation processes is hypothetical zone or stage. Uh, stage kan nampak macam stage ni. Okay, nampak macam stage kan? Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, okay? Dia naik kan? The paper tu naik kan? Tapi plate ni dia design macam ni lah eh. Dia buat macam berliku sikit then. Supaya dah ada, ada ruang untuk dia condense, okay? Alright? Alright? Then descendant liquid. Kalau yang uh, dia, kalau uh, dia vaporize lagi, okay? Then dia condense. So nanti, every plate ni, akan ada compound ni ataupun uh, compound yang berbeza lah eh. Depend on the boiling point dan sebagainya. The boiling point dan juga apa? Volatility kan? Okay. Uh, such as the liquid and vapor phases of uh, substance establish an equilibrium with each other. Okay. Sekali lagi kita sebut pasal equilibrium kan? Maknanya dalam keadaan uh, equilibrium, okay. Uh, antara satu sama lain so dia akan so dia akan capai lah that uh, bila capai the equilibrium tu alright so akan ada lah pembahagian ni lah pembahagian antara ok uh, plate ni ok compound apa bagi setiap plate so each plate correspond to an uh, evaporation condensation step the process from liquid to vapor to liquid again uh, represent one plate Okay. Yang ni kita tengok juga itu kan. The theoretical plate. Okay. This is A at lower uh, boiling point. Okay. Okay ni lower boiling point eh. Okay temperature kan makin meningkat ni kan. Okay. Okay this is B at higher boiling point. Okay ni plate ni. Plate 1. Okay. Plate 2. Plate 3. Plate 4. Okay. Dia so, makin meningkat kan. Ah, bila A ni, okay, dia makin, uh, bila temperature makin meningkat, uh, mole fraction B pun makin meningkat kan. Uh, last sekali, ada B ni terhasil at higher boiling point. So, mix uh, solution, mixture of solution of A and B was heated at 1. Ah, sudah, at 1 pula dah. Okay. At 1, mana 1? Kat sini pun yang start heated. Okay. okay, siapa boleh bagi tahu saya kenapa dia start heated kat sini?
Patutnya start heated kat sini lah. Kan temperature naik kan. Ha, tapi tak start heated kat sini. Right. Right. So dia melambangkan. Pada temperature. Dia start dengan temperature tinggi ni terus. Okay then. Alright. Um, dia condense. Dia condense. Uh, dia, dia vaporize. Vaporize. And then kat plate 1. Okay. Dia condense. Alright. Uh, bila condense kan suhu makin. Suhu makin apa nama ni sejuk kan. Dia daripada panas. Dia terkondense kan. Okay kat tuhu, suhu pertama ni. Okay. Kat plate pertama dia turun. Okay then. Um, makin sejuk suhu kedua. Okay kat plate 2. Makin sejuk lagi suhu ketiga. Dekat plate 3. Okay dan plate 4. Then panas balik. Okay. Panas balik. Right. The vaporize balik. Alright. Right. Then the condense balik. Okay. Proses ni buat ulang-ulang kan. So. Um, mixture A and B tu dia ada dekat. Point one lah. Masa panas tu. Okay. Kita start dengan when it is boil lah. It is um, at uh, apa ni. Uh, temperature, uh, temperature yang dia vaporize. So. Dia boleh dia cool down. Okay. Kat plate satu. Okay. Then uh, lower temperature. Plate dua dia pergi. Okay. Lower lagi. Okay. Plate tiga. Okay. Lower lagi. Plate empat. Okay. And then. Alright. Dia jatuh balik. Ke bawah. Panas balik. Okay. Panaskan balik. Dan macam high. Okay. And then. Cool balik. Sebab kita ada kan. Kita ada. Dis, uh, kita distill kan. Ada condenser kan. Ada air yang mengalir. Tujuk kan kan. Right. This is what happen. Okay. So. Um. POB kat sini. Alright. And then uh, A, POA lah. Dekat last sekali. Okay. Dekat temperature uh, dekat apa nama ni uh, condensation pada temperature yang paling rendah ni. So dapat POA. Right. At the beginning kita ada uh, solution of A and B lah. Alright. So the theoretical plate a hypothetical zone of or stage in which two phases such as uh, the liquid and A vapor phases of a substance establish an equilibrium with each other. Okay. Tadi kan kita ingat eh. Dia ulang balik. A hypothetical, hypothetical zone or stage in which two phases. Right. Apa phases tersebut? Apa two phases tu? Siapa boleh beritahu saya? Apa two phases tu? Phases apa? What kind of phases? Liquid and gas. Because vaporization and condensation. Of course lah kita ada. Gas and liquid. Okay. Equilibrium of. Uh, at zone of stage in which two phases. Such as the liquid and vapor phases. Of a substance. Establish an equilibrium with each other. And then such equilibrium stage. Um, may also be referred to as an equilibrium stage of. Theoretical. Trade. Any physical device that provides good contact between the vapor and the liquid phase constitutes a plate or a tray. Okay. Maksudnya kalau dalam uh, dalam fasa equilibrium tu, okay, antara uh, apa nama ni, uh, uh, phases liquid dengan vapor, kalau ada satu uh, physical contact, good contact, okay, between the vapor and the liquid, okay, then uh, dia akan hasilkan satu plate ataupun tray kan. Of course lah dia dalam keadaan equilibrium antara uh, apa nama ni uh, liquid dan juga uh, vapor. Then kita provide satu platform bagi dia. So ada lah tempat untuk okay. Ada lah tempat untuk uh, liquid tu berkumpul lah. Okay. Alright. So relative volatility. Okay relative volatility is a measure of the difference Uh, in volatility between two components. In example, boiling point. Indicates how easy or difficult uh, particular separation will be. If alpha is very close to one, it is an indication that they have a very similar vapor pressure characteristic. Alright. In example, difficult to separate the two components via distillation. Okay, maknanya, okay. Relative volatile, uh, relative volatility ni, okay. 
uh, okay volatility ni is equal to um, mole fraction okay of uh, compound A in vapor and compound A in liquid so volatility also equal to um, the uh, the apa nama ni apa pressure apa tadi kita panggil ni partial pressure kan dalam Earth's law tu apa kita panggil P ni the rho ni PA ni apa Okay, partial pressure kan? Right? Partial pressure of, of compound A lah. Okay, divide by Okay, um, mole fraction of compound A in liquid. Alright, so relative volatility is uh, comparison between volatility of compound A and compound B. So, this is the equation lah. Kita ganti balik eh. Right? Right, because... Uh, when kita divide yang ni dengan okay x p vapor x p liquid okay so dia akan jadi sini jadi terbalik lah eh upside down lah right or equal to partial pressure a times okay uh, more fraction b Divide by partial pressure B divide by uh, 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 times more fraction A. So relative volatility, all right, is partial pressure A divided by partial pressure B, okay, equal to alpha. Alpha is separation factor or separation ratio. Jadi kalau alpha ni dia menghampiri satu ataupun kalau satu dia akan jadi maknanya uh, volatility compound A dengan B ni sama. Right? Kalau dia makin jauh daripada satu. So, it is uh, makin berbeza lah. Meaning that kalau dia makin menghampiri satu. So, uh, volatility bagi compound A dengan B ni hampir sama dan susah untuk dipisahkan dengan menggunakan kaedah distillation. So, kalau nak pisahkan juga, kena guna keadaan lain lah. Alright. You all agak-agak lah. Okay. Apa teknik yang menggunakan this concept? Apa instrumen yang menggunakan concept of volatility difference? Okay. Apa? Instrumen apa? Come on. Hello. Assalamualaikum. GC eh. Okay. Lin Jun Cheng cakap GC. Siapa lagi? Nak cakap apa lagi? Eng uh, uh, cakap chromatography. Yes, Eng. Betul tu. Chromatography is the big umbrella kan. It's a separation technique. So, what kind of chromatography? Alright. Siapa lagi nak jawab? Thank you, Lim and Eng. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Michelle, uh, LLS. What is that, LLS? What is that, Michelle? Okay, tapi siapa, siapa, siapa nak jawab lagi? Siapa nak jawab lagi? Please. Ramai kau orang ni. Takkan tak nak jawab kan? Hari ni ada 61 orang. Ada 4 orang tak datang. Okay. Fractional distillation. Okay. Yes, this is a fractional distillation lah. My question is what kind of method or instrument that use this concept different in volatility? Okay, most of you jawab. Yes, chromatography. Yes, it's true. Thank you, Pavitran and Lee and Eng. Okay, and all lah. Ting semua. So, gas chromatography lah. Yang um, separate kan uh, uh, compound in a mixture based on the volatility of boiling point. Okay. So, kalau sama volatility dia, then susahlah kita nak separate. Sebab tujuan utama kita, okay, to separate. To pisahkan. Separating okay, between uh, a compound bit, uh, in the mixtures. Nama kos kita pun separation methods kan. Alright. Maksudnya, <coughs> maksudnya kita nak separate. Tapi separate based on apa? Ada macam-macam teknik kan. 
based on ionic strength lah, based on the molecular weight dan sebagainya. The, so this time kita belajar tentang nak separate based on the volatility of boiling point lah. Volatility lah. Alright, so tak boleh. Kalau tak boleh, kena guna metode lain lah. Mungkin uh, volatility dia hampir sama tapi dia boleh molecular weight lain. Ionic strength dia lain dan sebagainya. So, um, kalau tak boleh guna this method, okay, tak boleh guna gas chromatography, pergilah metode lain. HPLC, High Performance Liquid Chromatography dan sebagainya. Right? Another separation method. So this separation method based on the volatility tak boleh. Right? Kalau alpha dia sama dengan satu ataupun menghampiri satu. Okay? Faham tak? Understood guys? Faham tak? Okay, faham eh? Kalau keluar mm -hmm. soalan nak kira volatility ni. Okay? Dan soalan tu tanya boleh tak guna GC? You all boleh jawab lah eh. In the next, next quiz lah. Right? So, ready lah eh guys. Alright, uh, this is boiling point diagram. Shows how the equilibrium composition of the components in a liquid mixture uh, vary with a temperature at fixed, tem at fixed, at a fixed pressure. Right, dalam satu fixed pressure, tapi ada different, uh, ada increasing temperature. Okay, then you can see. Alright. Um, the equilibrium composition, right? This is point X and point Y. Alright, point X ada berapa uh, faces? One faces, okay. Uh, ada berapa komponen? Faces ada satu. Komponen ada dua. Alright, what is the component? Cakap dua kan, X. Mixture of A and B. Okay, so point Y. Okay. Ada berapa faces? Dua faces. Okay. Ada berapa komponen? Satu dah. Ada satu, dua. Satu, dua kan. Ada berapa komponen? Dua komponen. Confident eh? Alright. So two component phase diagram at constant pressure. Okay. This is the uh, apa nama ni um, equilibrium composition lah of A and B. Right. At increasing at different temperature and at, at the uh, fixed uh, apa nama ni fixed pressure. So this one kita, kat sini ada pecahan uh, satu per dua satu per dua lah eh. Satu per dua A dan B. Right. Bila sampai this uh, um, temperature, okay, okay, at the temperature, ada 0.78 mol B, okay, ada berapa mol A, fraction dia, 0.2, 2, okay, ni ratio ni, ratio, ni pecahan, okay, so katakanlah, saya nak dapatkan um, uh, 0.5 saya nak separuh-separuh eh saya nak komponen A dan B ni ada separuh-separuh uh, tapi saya nak dalam keadaan liquid. Kat mana uh, temperature yang saya perlu eh uh, perlu heat lah. Temperature berapa saya perlu pastikan supaya komponen A dan B ni dia ada half-half. Tetapi saya nak only liquid. What is the temperature? Below then. Below then uh, berapa? Below then. I only want half-half eh. Okay. 
Okay, betul. Below that, 92 degree of Celsius. Alright. Faham lah eh? Alright, this is boiling point diagram. Okay, the boiling point of A is 82 degree of Celsius. Tengok mana, mana, mana. 82 kat mana? Boiling point A eh? Okay, kat sini. Kan? Oh, the, the start boil. Okay. Then, bila lagi tinggi temperature tu, dah jadi uh, mixture of uh, liquid and gas. Okay. Right. Uh, the boiling point of B is 110. Where is B? Okay. 110. Kat sini lah. Kan. Boiling point A kat sini. 82 kan. Okay. Boiling point B dekat 110. More fraction of A is 0. Dekat boiling point, eh, uh, dekat boiling point B ni, mole, mole fraction of uh, apa A ni is zero. Kenapa? Dekat, okay, uh, dekat 110 degree of Celsius, mole fraction A tak ada, zero. Kenapa? Why? Why at the boiling point of B, okay, the mole fraction of A is zero. Tak ada. Kenapa? Why? Okay, all volatile lah. Vaporize already lah. Okay. Sebab dia punya boiling point dia 82. Of course lah. It at uh, 110, dia dah completely volatile. Okay. According to this diagram lah. Okay. Okay, you see, uh, more fraction of A, zero. Okay, okay, zero dekat mana? Dekat temperature 110. Okay, so A is more what than B? More volatile. Okay, good. The upper curve in the diagram is called the dew point curve. Okay, the dew point curve. Okay. While the lower one is called the bubble point curve. You boil curve. Bubble point curve. This is bubble point curve. Okay. At temperature 110. Dan. Sekitar sini lah. Dengan perbezaan more fraction of. A. Okay. Dekat this temperature. Tapi the more fraction of A is. Uh, berapa ni? 80, 82 lah. Ni lah boiling point of A. Okay. Tapi dekat sini, dia bercampur dengan A dan B kan. Okay, maknanya kalau A dan B dia bercampur, right, ada uh, A dah makin kurang, okay. B makin banyak, okay. Boiling point dia, dia tengah boil dia, boil, boil. Dia tengah bergelegak ni, berbuih-buih kan. Bubble. Okay, bubble point. Kenapa bubble point? You, you something when something is boil, you can see the bubble kan? Okay, this is boiling. Tapi dekat boiling pada perbezaan temperature ni, okay, dekat sini hanya ada B sahaja. Dekat sini A makin banyak lah. Right? So, uh, dekat dew point, okay, after after the, apa nama ni? Uh, boiling process ni, okay. Okay, ada cooling process ni kan? Ada distillation process ni. Okay. A makin banyak lah. Right? Dan B makin kurang. Ini dia panggil dew point. Okay? Sampai satu point yang uh, kembali kepada this point. Okay? Ini akan ada semula. Okay, sebab dia akan akan apa? Kenapa kat sini A ada banyak semula? Dia akan condense lah. Kan? Alright. Back to liquid. Okay. Faham lah eh. The bubble point is the temperature at which the liquid start to boil. All right. So distillation, okay, laboratory versus industrial, okay. Ada laboratory scale, okay, perform a batch wise lah. Of course lah kita buat kalet kan batch kan, campur A dan B then okay. Tapi kalau industri dia continuously, okay. 
Dia tak ada campur A dengan B dan B akan macam tu. Dia A dengan B continuously mix and he will be continuously distillate. Okay. Of course, in industry, yeah. So, batch column. In batch operation, the feed to column is as introduced in batch wise. Campur, campur. And column is charged with a batch and then the distillation process is carried out. When the desired task is achieved, next batch of feed is introduced. Dah siap, masuk yang lain. Batch, yeah. Batch. Kalau continuous, process is continuous lah, right? Feed of stream. Kena ada feed of stream, uh, apa nama ni? A and B, right? And then ada continuously uh, a boiling process, okay? No interruption occur unless there is a, a a problem with the column or surrounding process unit, okay? This is what happened in industry lah. Okay, that's why we have, uh, okay, we have the instrument for the continuous uh, column of distillation. Tapi kena ada... The engineer, the technician yang control juga kan And uh, takut ada something Error happen sebagainya Right the, They are capable of handling high uh, throughput uh, And the most common of the two types Right So the fractional distillation yang kita ada kat lab macam ni lah Okay Nampak tak fractional ni kan Fractional ni ha, Ni ada plate-plate ni For component in the mixture with close boiling point Separate components by repeated vaporization condensation cycle Okay, again and again, vaporized condense, vaporized condense, right? Theoretical plates within a pack, a packed, uh, fractionate, fractionating column. Each vaporization, condensation cycle will yield a pure, uh, okay, solution of the more volatile component. Okay, makin lama makin pure lah. More theoretical plates lead to better separation, okay? And B, theoretical plate is thus the concept. Okay. This is a fractional column. Tadi yang awal rupanya benda ni nama dia ialah fractional. Fractional apa? Fractional thing. Fractional thing column. Right. This is condenser. Alright. Okay. So dalam uh, fractional thing column ni makin tinggi makin uh, macam mana? Makin sejuk ke? Makin makin tinggi makin uh, panas. Okay, sejuk eh. So, ada 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 certain compound dekat sini dia dah condense, kan? Ada certain compound pada suhu lebih sejuk baru dia condense, right? Right. Then kita ada yang kita nak collect lah. Di sini kita lah. Right. This is industrial one lah eh. Very big. Okay. Petroleum processing, petrochemical, natural, natural gas, uh, coal tar, brewing, okay? Liquefied air separation and other carbon solvent production. Right. Dalam tu pun ada juga dia punya plate tu. Right. Lebih kurang sama konsep dia yang dengan lab scale. Right. So distillation column, a piece of glassware used to separate vaporized mixture of liquid compound with close volatilities. Commonly used, okay, a, a Vigrox column or a straight column pack with glass beads or metal pieces such as reshik rings. Help to separate the mixture by allowing the mix to vapor, mix vapor to cool, condense, and vaporize again in accordance to Proust's law. With each condensation vaporization cycle, the vapor are enriched in a certain component. A larger surface area, okay, uh, Vigrid's column, a bubble caps, tray, etc., allows more cycles improving. Separation. Okay, ni Vigrid's column has a series of downward pointing uh, indentation, uh, indentation on the inside wall which serve to dramatically increase the surface area. Alright, ni kalau kita tengok nanti kat lab ada lah eh. Dia Vigrid's column ni, dia ada uh, bentuk uh, dia punya column tu dia uh, downward pointing. Okay, untuk uh, ni lah, untuk condensekan balik kan. Without increasing the length of the condenser. More expensive than traditional straight wall design. Okay. This is reshik rings fractionating column. Okay. Dalam tu ada macam banyak rings eh. Reshik rings are small tube uh, cutting providing a surface for a re-evaporation uh, of the most volatile part in the refluxing distillate. Typically um, 10 uh, micrometer in diameter and 12 uh, a micrometer a millimeter eh, long this can be made from metal glass or can be ceramic and also copper tube cuttings all right copper tubing rashik rings 
uh, superior at fractionating volatile hydrocarbons or ethanol mixed with water. Alright. It's bubble cap tray plate. Okay, the bubble cap kan. Uh, nama dia bubble cap ni pasal nampak macam cap kan. Kan. Right. Physical device which are used to provide good contact between the up flow, up flowing vapor. Okay. Bila up flowing vapor tu pergi, dia terperangkap kan. So, dia jatuh. Dia condense kat sini. Alright. Then, bila dia, dia akan meruap lagi. Okay. Dia naik lagi. Alright. Then, yang dah excess tu dia akan jatuh lah. Jatuh balik. So, dia akan repeated. Okay. The volatilization, volatilization is repeated. Okay. Flowing vapor and down flowing liquids inside uh, an industrial fractioning. Fractionating column. Example, bubble cap or valve trace. So, this is valve trace lah. Propos uh, perfor perforations are covered by a liftable cap. Uh, ni cap ni boleh. Boleh cabut eh. Liftable cap. Vapor flows lift the cap. Thus, self-creating a flow area for the uh, passage of vapor. Okay. The lifting cap directs the vapor to flow horizontally into the liquid, thus providing better mixing than is possible in sieve trays. Right? This is packing eh? in to increase the interfacial uh, area to, for vapor liquid contact. Right? Banyak design ni. Dia buat bentuk tu untuk increase the vapor liquid contact. Right? So, packing versus tray, mana better? Okay, packing provide extra interfacial area for liquid vapor contact. Efficiency of separation is increased for the same column height. Pack column are uh, shorter than tray column, right? So, binary distillation analysis, uh, the Mac Mac Cape uh, Till method, uh, use the VLE plot to determine the theoretical number of stages required to effect the separation of a binary mixture. The simplest and perhaps most instructive method for analysis of binary distillation, the composition uh, at each theoretical tray or equilibrium stage is completely determined by the mole fraction of one of the two components. So, VLE ni apa guys? Okay, um, cap till method ni, they guna VLE plot to determine the theoretical number or st of stages required to effect the separation of binary mixture. Binary tau binary. Okay, binary mixture ni yang a mixture yang uh, yang uh, apa nama ni yang senang kira lah eh. Yang senang kira lah. Dia tak complex. Alright. Binary. Okay. Just one uh, one or non. Okay. Binary biasa kita tengok one, one zero one zero kan. A mixture yang Binary saja, alright. So what is VLE? Volume liquid equilibrium. Okay. Right, you have class at ten, eh? Alright. So kita tak banyak lagi, okay? Um, make cap tip, uh, make cap till method is based on the assumption of a constant molar overflow, which require that a molar heat of vaporization of the fit components are equal. Uh, for every mole of liquid vaporized, a mole of vapor is condensed. Sama eh. Every mole liquid vaporized, um, uh, a mole of vapor is condensed. So, dia negli negligible factor lain antaranya. Heat transfer antara distillation column dengan solution dan sebagainya. So, negligible. So, assume as mole of liquid vaporized, a mole of vapor is condensed. Tak ada nilai. Alright. So, according to uh, Metcap uh, Till method, so macam ni lah. Um, seven plate theory needed to go from a composition A to B. Okay. Sama macam phase diagram tadi lah. Okay. Mana um, any factor lain negligible lah. Right. So tengok uh, fraction A and B tu. Okay. Based on the vapor. Right. Maknanya uh, more liquid yang vap uh, con uh, more liquid yang vaporized akan hasilkan more liquid yang condensed. Alright. So, advantages of the uh, fraction distillation, simple, relative, cheap, large quantities. This advantage dia apa? Poor selectivity based only on vapor pressure sahaja. Azio, azeotrope formation often, accounted apa azeotrope? Mixture of two different liquid. Okay, ini belas berlaku. Okay, ada dua liquid yang uh, mix. Okay, maknanya dia ada dua volatility yang sama, tak, tak dapat nak 
isahkan. Not suitable for uh, thermo thermolabile compound. Right? As I'm, okay, guys, tolong cari apa ni thermolabile compound. Apa benda tu? Okay, require large samples. Right, extractive distillation. Okay, distillation is the present of a miscible high boiling relative non-volatile component. The solvent that, that, that form no isotrope with the other component. Nah, yang, yang method extractive distillation ni untuk pastikan tak ada uh, azeotrope liquid lah. Right? For mixture having a, a low value of uh, relative volatility. Solvent cause relative volatility of components to charge thus affecting separation through distillation. Example, separation of azeotropic uh, mixture of benzene and cyclohexene use aniline as solvent. Right? So this extractive distillation overcome the uh, fractional distillation punya problem lah. Itu ada azeotrope. Itu fine the pukul 10, 1 minit dah ni. Okay, okay, okay. Kita kelas saya nak. So, ada dua lagi, hydrodistillation dan juga uh, stream distillation. In the vacuum, you boleh baca lah. This is only comparison, apa method-method yang berbeza. Alright, ada you baca sendiri, um, hydro, steam dan juga vacuum. Alright, so uh, ada kelas lain. So, sorry for taking your time lah eh. Alright, so uh, see you again tomorrow, study chapter 1, chapter 2 for quiz. Alright, after one hour, kita buat quiz. Okay, five question, subjective. Right, thank you and goodbye. Yeah. Can I hear you all butter, Jay? Just for facts. So, kita akan masuk chapter lain lah esok eh, chapter 5. Right, thank you, bye-bye.